Fourth, programming language. Fourth is an imperative stack-based computer programming language and environment originally designed by Charles Chuck Moore. Language features include structured programming, reflection, the ability to modify the program structure during program execution, concatenative programming, functions are composed with juxtaposition, and extensibility, the programmer can create new commands. Although not an acronym, the language's name is sometimes spelled with all capital letters as fourth following the customary usage during its earlier years. A procedural programming language without type checking, fourth features both interactive execution of commands, making it suitable as a shell for systems that lack a more formal operating system, and the ability to compile sequences of commands for later execution. For much of fourth's existence, the standard technique was to compile to threaded code, but there are modern implementations that generate optimized machine code like other language compilers. Fourth is used in the open firmware bootloader, in space applications such as the Feli spacecraft, and other embedded systems which involve interaction with hardware. The best-selling 1986 computer game Starflight, from Electronic Arts, was written with a custom fourth. The free software fourth implementation is actively maintained, as are several commercially supported systems. A fourth environment combines the compiler with an interactive shell where the user defines and runs subroutines called words. Words can be tested, redefined, and debugged as the source is entered without recompiling or restarting the whole program. All syntactic elements, including variables and basic operators, are defined as words. Fourth environments vary in how the resulting program is stored, but ideally running the program has the same effect as manually re-entering the source. Most programming environments with recursive subroutines use a stack for control flow. This structure typically also stores local variables, including subroutine parameters, in call-by-value systems such as C. Fourth often does not have local variables, however, nor is it call-by-value. Instead, intermediate values are kept in another stack, different from the one it uses for return addresses, loop counters, etc. Words operate directly on the topmost values in the first of these two stacks. It may therefore be called the parameter or data stack, but most often simply the stack. The second, function call stack is then called the linkage or return stack, abbreviated or stack. Special stack manipulation functions provided by the kernel allow it to be used for temporary storage within a word, and it is often used by counted loops, but otherwise it cannot be used to pass parameters or manipulate data. Most words are specified in terms of their effect on the stack. Typically, parameters are placed on the top of the stack before the word executes. After execution, the parameters have been erased and replaced with any return values. For arithmetic operators, this follows the rule of reverse Polish notation. See below for examples illustrating stack usage. Fourth is a simple yet extensible language. Its modularity and extensibility permit the writing of high-level programs such as CAD systems. Fourth has been used successfully in large, complex projects, while applications developed by competent Disciplined professionals have proven to be easily maintained on evolving hardware platforms over decades of use. Fourth has a niche both in astronomical and space applications. Fourth is still used today in many embedded systems, small computerized devices, because of its portability, efficient memory use, short development time, and fast execution speed. It has been implemented efficiently on modern RISC processors, and processors that use Fourth as machine language have been produced. Other uses of Fourth include the open firmware boot ROMs used by Apple, IBM, Sun, and OLPCX01, and the fickle based pre kernel bootstrap of the Freebst operating system. Fourth evolved from Charles H. Moore's personal programming system, which had been in continuous development since 1968. Fourth was first exposed to other programmers in the early 1970s, starting with Elizabeth Rather at the U.S. National Radio Astronomy Observatory. After their work at NOW, Charles Moore and Elizabeth Rather formed Fourth Incorporated in 1973, refining and porting Fourth systems to dozens of other platforms in the next decade. Fourth is so named because in 1968 the file holding the interpreter was labeled Fourth, for Fourth, next generation software, but the IBM 1130 operating system restricted file names to five characters. Moore saw Fourth as a successor to compile Link Go third generation programming languages, or software for fourth generation hardware, not a fourth generation programming language as the term has come to be used. Because Charles Moore frequently moved from job to job over his career, 
and early pressure on the developing language was ease of porting to different computer architectures. A fourth system has often been used to bring up new hardware. For example, Fourth was the first resident software on the new Intel 8086 chip in 1978 and McForth was the first resident development system for the first Apple Macintosh in 1984. Fourth Incorporated's Microforth was developed for the Intel 8080, Motorola 6800, and Zilog Z80 microprocessors starting in 1976. Microforth was later used by hobbyists to generate fourth systems for other architectures such as the 6502 in 1978.Why dissemination finally led to standardization of the language. Common practice was codified in the de facto standards 4th 79 and 4th 83 in the years 1979 and 1983, respectively. These standards were unified by ANSI in 1994, commonly referred to as ANS 4th. 4th became popular in the 1980s because it was well suited to the small microcomputers of that time being compact and portable. At least one home computer, the British Jupiter Ace, had Forth in its ROM resident operating system. The Canon Cat also used Forth for its system programming, and Rockwell produced single chip microcomputers with resident Forth kernels, the R65 F11 and R65 F12. A complete family tree is a 2 veen In Softgraph, Forth was a version of Forth with graphics extensions for the Apple II. ASIST was a fourth expansion for measuring and controlling on PCs. As of 2018 the source for the original 1130 version of fourth has been recovered, and is now being updated to run on a restored or emulated 1130 system. Fourth relies heavily on explicit use of a data stack and reverse Polish notation, RPN or postfix notation, commonly used in calculators from Hewlett Packard. In RPN, the operator is placed after its operands as opposed to the more common infix notation where the operator is placed between its operands. Postfix notation makes the language easier to parse and extend, fourth's flexibility makes a static BNF grammar inappropriate, and it does not have a monolithic compiler. Extending the compiler only requires writing a new word, instead of modifying a grammar and changing the underlying implementation. Using RPN, one could get the result of the mathematical expression Cody say underscore one this way. This command line first puts the numbers 25 and 10 on the implied stack. Br the word code say underscore 2 multiplies the two numbers on the top of the stack and replaces them with their product. Then the number 50 is placed on the stack. Br the word code say underscore 3 adds it to the previous product. The code say underscore 4 moves the output to a new line. It is only for formatting purposes and could be omitted, but, in most implementations, without it the output would occur on the same line as the input and would be less readable in the example. Finally, the code ESA underscore 5 command prints the result to the user's terminal. As everything has completed successfully at that point, the text interpreter then outputs the prompt code ESA underscore 6 and moves to a new line to get more input without needing anything explicit to do that. Even fourth structural features are stack-based. For example, this code defines a new word, again, word is the term used for a subroutine, called code ESA underscore 7 using the following commands. Cody say underscore 8 duplicates the number on the stack, Cody say underscore 9 places a 6 on top of the stack, Cody say underscore 10 compares the top two numbers on the stack, 6 and the Cody say underscore 8 at input, and replaces them with a true or false value, Cody say underscore 12 takes a true or false value and chooses to execute commands immediately after it or to skip to the code is he underscore 13, Cody say underscore 14 discards the value on the stack, and code say underscore 15 ends the conditional. The text in parentheses is a comment, advising that this word expects a number on the stack and will return a possibly changed number. The code say underscore 7 word is equivalent to this function written in the C programming language using the This function is written more succinctly as You could run this word as follows. First the interpreter pushes a number, 1 or 8, onto the stack, then it calls code say underscore 7 which pops off this number again and pushes the result. The code say underscore 4 moves the output to a new line, again, this is only here for readability. Finally, a call to code say underscore 5 pops the result and prints it to the user's terminal. Fourth has no explicit grammar. The interpreter reads a line of input from the user input device, which is then parsed for a word using spaces as a delimiter. Some systems recognize additional white space characters. When the interpreter finds a word, it looks the word up in the dictionary. 
If the word is found, the interpreter executes the code associated with the word, and then returns to parse the rest of the input stream. If the word isn't found, the word is assumed to be a number and an attempt is made to convert it into a number and push it on the stack. If successful, the interpreter continues parsing the input stream. Otherwise, if both the lookup and the number conversion fail, the interpreter prints the word follow it be an error message indicating the word is not recognized, flushes the input stream, and waits for new user input. The definition of a new word is started with the word code say underscore 20, colon, and ends with the word code say underscore 21, semicolon. For example, will compile the word code say underscore 22, and makes the name findable in the dictionary. When executed by typing code say underscore 23 at the console this will print code say underscore 24. Most fourth systems include an assembler that allows one to specify words using the processor's facilities at its lowest level. Mostly the assembler is tucked away in a separate namespace, word list, as relatively few users want to use it. Fourth assemblers may use a reverse polish syntax in which the parameters of an instruction precede the instruction but designs vary widely and are specific to the fourth implementation. A typical reverse polish assembler prepares the operands on the stack and have the mnemonic copy the whole instruction into memory as the last step. A fourth assembler is by nature a macro assembler, so that it is easy to define an alias for registers according to their role in the fourth system, for example data stack pointer for the register used as a stack pointer. Most fourth systems run under a host operating system such as Microsoft Windows, Linux or a version of Unix and use the host operating system's file system for source and data files, the NC fourth standard describes the words used for I.O. All modern fourth systems use normal text files for source, even if they are embedded. An embedded system with a resident compiler gets its source via a serial line. Classic fourth systems traditionally use neither operating system nor file system. Instead of storing code in files, source code is stored in disk blocks written to physical disk addresses. The word code say underscore 25 is employed to translate the number of a 1k sized block of disk space into the address of a buffer containing data, which is managed automatically by the fourth system. Block use has become rare since the mid-1990s. In a hosted system those blocks too are allocated in a normal file in any case. Multitasking most commonly cooperative round-robin scheduling, is normally available, although multitasking words and support are not covered by the ANSI fourth standard. The word code say underscore 26 is used to save the current task's execution context, to locate the next task, and restore its execution context. Each task has its own stacks, private copies of some control variables and a scratch area. Swapping tasks is simple and efficient, as a result. Fourth multitaskers are available even on very simple microcontrollers, such as the Intel 8051, Atmel AVR, and TMSP430. Other non-standard facilities include a mechanism for issuing calls to the host OS or windowing systems, and many provide extensions that employ the scheduling provided by the operating system. Typically they have a larger and different set of words from the standalone fourths code say underscore 26 word for task creation, suspension. Destruction and modification of priority. A full featured fourth system with all source code will compile itself, a technique commonly called meta compilation or self hosting, by fourth programmers, although the term doesn't exactly match meta compilation as it is normally defined. The usual method is to redefine the handful of words that place compiled bits into memory. The compiler's words use specially named versions of fetch and store that can be redirected to a buffer area in memory. The buffer area simulates or accesses a memory area beginning at a different address than the code buffer. Such compilers define words to access both the target computer's memory and the host, compiling, computer's memory. After the fetch and store operations are redefined for the code space, the compiler, assembler, etc. are recompiled using the new definitions of fetch and store. This effectively reuses all the code of the compiler and interpreter. Then, the fourth system's code is compiled, but this version is stored in the buffer. The buffer in memory is written to disk, and ways are provided to load it temporarily into memory for testing. When the new version appears to work, it is written over the previous version. Numerous variations of such compilers exist for different environments. For embedded systems, the code may instead be written to another computer, a technique known as cross-compilation, over a serial port or even a single TTL bit, while keeping the word names and other non-executing parts of the dictionary in the original compiling computer. 
The minimum definitions for such a fourth compiler are the words that fetch and store a byte, and the word that commands a fourth word to be executed. Often the most time-consuming part of writing a remote port is constructing the initial program to implement fetch, store and execute, but many modern microprocessors have integrated debugging features, such as the Motorola CPU32, that eliminate this task. The basic data structure of fourth is the dictionary which maps words to executable code or name data structures. The dictionary is laid out in memory as a tree of linked lists with the links proceeding from the latest, most recently, defined word to the oldest, until a sentinel value, usually a null pointer, is found. A context switch causes a list search to start at a different leaf. A linked list search continues as the branch merges into the main trunk, leading eventually back to the sentinel, the root. There can be several dictionaries. In rare cases such as metacompilation a dictionary might be isolated and standalone. The effect resembles that of nesting namespaces and can overload keywords depending on the context. A defined word generally consists of head and body with the head consisting of the name field, nf, and the link field, lf, and body consisting of the code field, cf, and the parameter field, pf. Head and body of a dictionary entry are treated separately because they may not be contiguous. For example, when a fourth program is recompiled for a new platform, the head may remain on the compiling computer, while the body goes to the new platform. In some environments, such as embedded systems, heads occupy memory unnecessarily. However, some cross-compilers may put heads in the target if the target itself is expected to support an interactive fourth. The exact format of a dictionary entry is not prescribed, and implementations vary. However, certain components are almost always present, though the exact size and order may vary. Described as a structure, a dictionary entry might look this way. The name field starts with a prefix giving the length of the word's name, typically up to 32 bytes, and several bits for flags. The character representation of the word's name then follows the prefix. Depending on the particular implementation of fourth, there may be one or more null backslash zero bytes for alignment. The link field contains a pointer to the previously defined word. The pointer may be a relative displacement or an absolute address that points to the next oldest sibling. The code field pointer will be either the address of the word which will execute the code or data in the parameter field or the beginning of machine code path processor will execute directly. For colon defined words, the code field pointer points to the word that will save the current fourth instruction pointer. IP on the return stack, and load the IP with the new address from which to continue execution of words. This is the same as what a processor's call slash return instructions do. The compiler itself is not a monolithic program. It consists of fourth words visible to the system, and usable by a programmer. This allows a programmer to change the compiler's words for special purposes. The compile time flag in the name field is set for words with compile time behavior. Most simple words execute the same code whether they are typed in a command line, or embedded in code. When compiling these, the compiler simply places code or a threaded pointer to the word. The classic examples of compile time words are the control structures such as codice underscore 12 and codice underscore 29. Almost all of Fort's control structures and almost all of its compiler are implemented as compile time words. Apart from some rarely used control flow words only found in a few implementations, such as a conditional return, all of Forth's control flow words are executed during compilation to compile various combinations of primitive words along with their branch addresses. For instance, codice underscore 12 and codice underscore 29, and the words that match with those, set up codice underscore 32, unconditional branch, and codice underscore 33 pop a value off the stack and branch if it is false. Counted loop control flow words work similarly but set up combinations of primitive words that work with a counter, and so on. During compilation, the data stack is used to support control structure balancing, nesting, and backpatching of branch addresses. The snippet would be compiled to the following sequence inside a definition. The numbers after code say underscore 32 represent relative jump addresses. Code say underscore 35 is the primitive word for pushing a literal number onto the data stack. The word code say underscore 20, colon, parses a name as a parameter, creates a dictionary entry, a colon definition, and enters compilation state. The interpreter continues to read space delimited words from the user input device. If a word is found, 
the interpreter executes the compilation semantics associated with the word, instead of the interpretation semantics. The default compilation semantics of a word are to append its interpretation semantics to the current definition. The word code say underscore 21, semicolon, finishes the current definition and returns to interpretation state. It is an example of a word whose compilation semantics differ from the default. The interpretation semantics of code say underscore 21, semicolon, most control flow words, and several other words are undefined in ANS fourth meaning that they must only be used inside of definitions and not on the interactive command line. The interpreter state can be changed manually with the words code say underscore 39, left bracket, and code say underscore 40, right bracket, which enter interpretation state or compilation state, respectively. These words can be used with the word code say underscore 41 to calculate a value during a compilation and to insert the calculated value into the current column definition. Code say underscore 41 has the compilation semantics to take an object from the data stack and to append semantics to the current colon definition to placid hat object on the data stack. In ANS fourth, the current state of the interpreter can be read from the flag code say underscore 43 which contains the value true when in compilation state and false otherwise. This allows the implementation of so-called state smart words with behavior that changes according to the current state of the interpreter. The word code say underscore 44 marks the most recent colon definition as an immediate word, effectively replacing its compilation semantics with its interpretation semantics. Immediate words are normally executed during compilation, not compiled, but this can be overwritten by the programmer in either state. Code say underscore 21 is an example of an immediate word. In ANS fourth, the word code say underscore 46 takes a name as a parameter and appends the compilation semantics of the named word to the current definition even if the word was marked immediate. Fourth 83 defines separate words code say underscore 47 and code say underscore 48 to force the compilation off non-immediate and immediate words, respectively. In ANS fourth, unnamed words can be defined with the word code say underscore 49 which compiles the following words up to the next code say underscore 21 semicolon, and leaves an execution token on the data stack. The execution token provides an opaque handle for the compiled semantics, similar to the function pointers of that programming language. Execution tokens can be stored in variables. The word code say underscore 51 takes an execution token from the data stack and performs the associated semantics. The word code say underscore 52, compile comma takes an execution token from the data stack and appends the associated semantics to the current definition. The word code say underscore 53, tick, takes the name of a word as a parameter and returns the execution token associated with that word on the data stack. In interpretation state, code say underscore 54 is equivalent to code say underscore 55. The words code say underscore 20, colon, code say underscore 46, code say underscore 53, Tick, are examples of parsing words that take their arguments from the user input device instead of data stack. Another example is the word code say underscore 59, paren, which reads and ignores the following words up to and including the next right parenthesis and is used to place comments in a colon definition. Similarly, the word code say underscore 60, backslash, is used for comments that continue to the end of the current line. To be parsed correctly, code say underscore 59, paren, and code say underscore 60, backslash, must be separated by white space from the following comment text. In most fourth systems, the body of the code definition consists of either machine language, or some form of threaded code. The original fourth which follows the informal FIG standard, fourth interest group, is the TIL, threaded interpretive language. This is also called indirect threaded code. But direct threaded and subroutine threaded fourths have also become popular in modern times. The fastest modern fourths use subroutine threading, insert simple words as macros, and perform peephole optimization or other optimizing strategies to make the code smaller and faster. When a word is a variable or other data object, the CF points to the runtime code associated with the defining word that created it. A defining word has a characteristic defining behavior creating a dictionary entry plus possibly allocating and initializing data space, and also specifies the behavior of an instance of the class of words constructed by this defining word. Examples include 
Fourth also provides a facility by which a programmer can define new application-specific defining words, specifying both the custom defining behavior and instance behavior. Some examples include circular buffers, named bits on an I.O. port, and automatically indexed arrays. Data objects defined by these and similar words are global in scope. The function provided by local variables and other languages is provided by the data stack and fourth, although fourth also has real local variables. Fourth programming style uses very few named data objects compared with other languages, typically such data objects are used to contain data which is used by a number of words or tasks, in a multitask implementation. Fourth does not enforce consistency of data type usage, it is the programmer's responsibility to use appropriate operators to fetch and store values or perform other operations on data. Words written in fourth are compiled into an executable form. The classical and direct threaded implementations compile lists of addresses of words to be executed in turn. Many modern systems generate actual machine code, including calls to some external words and code for others expanded in place. Some systems have optimizing compilers. Generally speaking, a fourth program is saved as the memory image of the compiled program with a single command for example, run, that is executed when the compiled version is loaded. During development, the programmer uses the interpreter in reply mode to execute and test each little piece as it is developed. Most fourth programmers therefore advocate a loose top down design and bottom up development with continuous testing and integration. The top down design is usually separation of the program into vocabularies that are then used as high level sets of tools to write the final program. A well designed fourth program reads like natural language and implements not just a single solution but also sets of tools to attack related problems. One possible implementation. The word code is a underscore for, carriage return, causes the following output to be displayed on a new line. The parsing word code is a underscore 69, dot quote, reads a double quoted a limited string and appends code to the current definition so that the parsed string will be displayed on execution. The space character separating the word code is underscore 69 from the string code is a underscore 71 is not included as part of the string. It is needed so that the parser recognizes code is a underscore 69 as a fourth word. A standard fourth system is also an interpreter, and the same output can be obtained by typing the following code fragment into the fourth console. Code is a underscore 73, dot paren is an immediate word that parses a parenthesis delimited string and displays it. As with the word code is a underscore 69 the space character separating code is underscore 73 from code is a underscore 71 is not part of the string. The word code is a underscore 4 comes before the text to print. By convention, the fourth interpreter does not start output on a new line. Also by convention, the interpreter waits for input at the end of the previous line, after an code is a underscore 78 prompt. There is no implied flush buffer action in fourth apostrophe scotus underscore four, as sometimes is in other programming languages. Here is the definition of a word code is a underscore 80 which when executed emits the single character code is a underscore 81. This definition was written to use the ASCII value of the code is a underscore 81 character, 81, directly. The text between the parentheses is a comment and is ignored by the compiler. The word code is a underscore 83 takes a value from the data stack and displays the corresponding character. The following redefinition of code is a underscore 80 uses the words code is a underscore 39, left bracket, code is a underscore 40, right bracket, code is a underscore 87 and code is a underscore 41 to temporarily switch to interpreter state, calculate the ASCII value of the code is a underscore 81 character. Return to compilation state and append the calculated value to the current colon definition. The parsing word code is a underscore 87 takes a space delimited word as parameter and places the value of its first character on the data stack. The word code is a underscore 91 is an immediate version of code is a underscore 87. Using code is a underscore 91, the example definition for code is a underscore 80 could be rewritten like this. This definition used code is a underscore 60, backslash, for the describing comment. Both code is a underscore 87 and code is a underscore 91 are predefined in ANS fourth. Using code is a underscore 44 and code is a underscore 46, code is a underscore 91 could have been defined like this. In 1987, 
Ron Rivas developed the RC4 cipher system for RSA Data Security Incorporated. The code is extremely simple and can be written by most programmers. From description we have an array of 256 bytes, all different. Every time the array is used it changes by swapping two bytes. The swaps are controlled by counters I and J, each initially zero. To get a new I, add one. To get a new J, add the array byte at the new I. Exchange the array bytes at I and J. The code is the array byte at the sum of the array bytes at I and J. This is XO read with a byte of the plain text to encrypt, or the cipher text to decrypt. The array is initialized by first setting it to 0 through 255. Then step through it using I and J, getting the new J by adding to it the array byte at I on the key byte, and swapping the array bytes at I and J. Finally, I and J are set to 0. All additions are modulo 256. The following standard fourth version uses core and core extension words only. This is one of many ways to test the code because the fourth virtual machine is simple to implement and has no standard reference implementation. There are numerous implementations of the language. In addition to supporting the standard varieties of desktop computer systems, POSIX, Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, many of these fourth systems also target a variety of embedded systems. Listed here are some of the more prominent systems which conform to the 1994 ANS 4th standard. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.